On the day of reporting, schools will admit students using their NEMIS accounts only. I instruct RCs, CDs, and the sub-county directors of education to take action against any national, extra county, or county school that may violate the directive to ensure admission of students is done through NEMIS. This firm stance by the Education Cabinet Secretary has dent jitters down the spines of parents who are said to have secured Form 1 slots through the back door after being dissatisfied with the Form 1 selection process that was done through the National Education Management Information System, NEMIS. Kwani ministry inanjamagani hii ambayo itapunja wale watoto ambao ni wamaskini wakosi kupata zile shule ambazo wanaeza fika bila garama ya yu. Kama tunataka 100% transition, tusikatae umfumo wa NEMIS lakini shida ambazo zinatokea na, na, na internet nae pia aelewe mahala hapo kwamba siyo Kenya yote iko covered the ministry's roadmap on form 1 admissions will affect over 500,000 students selected to join various schools in the country over 31,000 students selected to join national schools 128,838 selected to join extra county schools as well as 148,215 students within the county schools bracket for those with slots in sub-county secondary schools, there is little to worry about. They could have been students who, for one reason or the other, found it necessary that they change their schools, that you make sure that even those who are changing schools get their letters through the system. Parents who are believed to have bought Form 1 slots in their schools of choice will now have to scramble again for the official admission letters with barely three days to spare. But it will become a bigger burden to bear if they had already bought school uniforms even without the expected admission letters. At the same time, CS Amina Mohammed has maintained that the implementation of the new curriculum will continue despite major opposition that arose from different quarters when the ministry announced its rollout. I will from next week visit various parts of the country to monitor the progress of both the CBC and the 100% transition programs. The rollout of the new curriculum has taken place without a legal backing as there is no sessional paper published to guide the process. The ministry insisting that parliament is expected to pass the sessional paper in mid-March, placing the implementation of the CBC in murky waters. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.